Brought to you by Wikivd.com George H. W. Bush George Herbert Walker Bush is an American politician who was the 41st President of the United States from 1989 to 1993 and the 43rd Vice President of the United States from 1981 to 1989. A member of the Republican Party, he was previously a congressman, ambassador, and director of Central Intelligence. He is the oldest living former president and vice president. Since 2001, Bush has often been referred to as George H.W. Bush, Bush 41, Bush the Elder, or George Bush Sr. to distinguish him from his eldest son, George W. Bush the 43rd President of the United States. Bush was born in Milton, Massachusetts, to Prescott Bush and Dorothy Walker Bush. Following the attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941, Bush postponed his university studies, enlisted in the U.S. Navy on his 18th birthday, and became the youngest aviator in the U.S. Navy at the time. He served until the end of the war then attended Yale University. Graduating in 1948, he moved his family to West Texas and entered the oil business, becoming a millionaire by the age of 40. Bush became involved in politics soon after founding his own oil company, and he won election to the House of Representatives in 1966. In 1971, President Richard Nixon appointed Bush as ambassador to the United Nations, and in 1973, Bush became the chairman of the Republican National Committee. The following year, President Gerald Ford appointed Bush as the ambassador to the People's Republic of China, and later reassigned Bush to the position of Director of Central Intelligence. Bush ran for president in 1980, but was defeated in the Republican primary by Ronald Reagan. Reagan chose Bush as his running mate, and Bush became vice president after the Reagan-Bush ticket won the 1980 election. During his eight-year tenure as vice president, Bush headed administration task forces on deregulation and fighting the war on drugs. In 1988, Bush ran a successful campaign to succeed Reagan as president, defeating Democratic opponent Michael Dukakis. Foreign policy drove the Bush presidency, military operations were conducted in Panama and the Persian Gulf, the Berlin Wall fell in 1989, and the Soviet Union dissolved two years later. Though the agreement was not ratified until after he left office, Bush also signed the North American Free Trade Agreement, which created a trade bloc consisting of the United States, Canada, and Mexico. Domestically, Bush reneged on a 1988 campaign promise and, after a struggle with Congress, signed an increase in taxes that Congress had passed in the wake of a weak recovery from an economic recession, along with continuing budget deficits and the diminution of foreign politics as a major issue in a post-Cold War political climate. He lost the 1992 presidential election to Democrat Bill Clinton. Bush left office in 1993. His presidential library was dedicated in 1997, and he has been active, often alongside Bill Clinton, in various humanitarian activities. With George W. Bush's victory in the 2000 presidential election, Bush and his son became the second father-son combination to serve as president, following John Adams and John Quincy Adams. Another member of the Bush family, Bush's second son Jeb Bush, served as the 43rd governor of Florida and saw the Republican presidential nomination in 2016. Early Life and Education George Herbert Walker Bush was born at 173 Adams Street in Milton, Massachusetts, on June 12, 1924, to Prescott Sheldon Bush and Dorothy Bush. 
the Bush family moved from Milton to Greenwich, Connecticut, shortly after his birth. Growing up, his nickname was Poppy. Bush began his formal education at the Greenwich Country Day School in Greenwich. Beginning in 1936, he attended Phillips Academy in Andover, Massachusetts, where he held a number of leadership positions including President of the Senior Class, Secretary of the Student Council, President of the Community Fundraising Group, a member of the editorial board of the school newspaper, and captain of both the varsity baseball and soccer teams. World War II Following the attack on Pearl Harbor in December 1941, Bush decided to join the U.S. Navy. So after graduating from Phillips Academy in 1942, he became a naval aviator at the age of 18. After completing the 10-month course, he was commissioned as an ensign in the United States Naval Reserve at Naval Air Station Corpus Christi on June 9, 1943, just three days before his 19th birthday, which made him the youngest naval aviator to that date. He was assigned to Torpedo Squadron as the photographic officer in September 1943. The following year, his squadron was based on as a member of Air Group 51, where his lanky physique earned him the nickname, Skin. During this time, the task force was victorious in one of the largest air battles of World War II, the Battle of the Philippine Sea. After Bush's promotion to lieutenant on August 1, 1944, San Jacinto commenced operations against the Japanese in the Bonin Islands. Bush piloted one of four Grumman TBM Avenger aircraft from VT-51 that attacked the Japanese installations on Chichijima, his crew for the mission which occurred on September 2, 1944, included Radio Man Second Class John Delaney and Lieutenant Junior Grade William White. During their attack, the Avengers encountered intense anti-aircraft fire. Bush's aircraft was hit by flak, and his engine caught on fire. Despite his plane being on fire, Bush completed his attack and released bombs over his target, scoring several damaging hits. With his engine ablaze, Bush flew several miles from the island, where he and one other crew member on the TBM Avenger bailed out of the aircraft. The other man's parachute did not open. Bush waited for four hours in an inflated raft, while several fighters circled protectively overhead until he was rescued by the lifeguard submarine. For the next month he remained on Finback and participated in the rescue of other pilots. Several of those shot down during the attack were executed, their livers eaten by their captors. Bush subsequently returned to San Jacinto in November 1944 and participated in operations in the Philippines until his squadron was replaced and sent home to the United States. Through 1944, he flew 58 combat missions, for which he received the Distinguished Flying Cross, three Air Medals, and the Presidential Unit Citation awarded to San Jacinto. Because of his valuable combat experience, Bush was reassigned to Norfolk Navy Base and put in a training wing for new torpedo pilots. He was later assigned as a naval aviator in a new torpedo squadron, VT-153, based at Naval Air Station Gross Isle, Michigan. Upon the Japanese surrender in 1945, Bush was honorably discharged in September of that year. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.